Hi, it's Mind Crypto here. I hope we're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Remember, this isn't financial advice. Always do your own research. It's Mind Crypto here, and I am buying more Quant because of this. So Quant is currently ranked at 39. We are currently sitting at that $102 mark, a market cap of 1.23 billion, with a 24-hour volume of 12.77 million. We are up 0.1 in the hour, up 0.3 in the day, down 3.5 eight percent in the week and up 0.6 percent in the month so we are going and that sideways we seem to be holding on to that hundred dollar mark is this the bottom who knows but do we care we're holding for the long term remember none of this is financial advice always do your own research and please subscribe please hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any further videos because you'll be doing me a massive favor and you'll be helping out with the youtube algorithms so i saw this wonderful tweet this was yesterday Quant hires a head of decisions in sales. Kerat Rural brings a long list of experience in top financial service firms. She's worked for Citi, Accenture, Santander, Finastra, all legacy leaders that have begun moving into DLT. Quant's been going hard on marketing sales since over Ledger Public. Now, this is always a good thing in the market when people are employing people in these high positions, head of division sales. It's a good sign that they're moving in the right the right direction. So we also see this tweet from Clocky. If we go to the downside for Quant, and let's say it goes to $90, possibly $85, I can see a substantial increase in wallet growth to hitting 150,000 holders in no time, which I completely agree. It's one of these coins that everybody, I feel, is holding. They're not trading, they're holding, because they know, they feel something big is coming. And someone put, when 200K? If I had a guess, maybe sometime next year in Feb or March, I think pushing it for the end of the year is a bit too soon. So, I mean, this is really, really, really positive. The more holders we get, the better the base level. And I think that is absolutely awesome. And if we start to see this rise, I think it's all positive for Quant Network. I also see this wonderful tweet from Miles Braun, and I am by more Quant after this absolutely and as you can see here gilbert verdian you know we had that discussion with a very large u.s financial services company last week i think it's time to realize and acknowledge that traditional fs companies are very active in this space right now they bring regulation governance and mass market capabilities with lots of institutional retail clients the news in the last couple of weeks with jpm fidelity digital asset six Deutsche Borsche is a pivotal moment where digital assets are accepted and embraced. It's only going to get bigger. And then we see this one from Gilbert Verdin himself. This is our approach. We're bringing everyone together and interconnecting traditional financial infrastructure with new decentralized finance infrastructure for the first time. Imagine the possibilities of thousands of financial services clients and institutions use decentralized blockchain safely and easily through Overledger. The use cases are huge. And another one from Gilbert here. By coming from the regulator, we love what is happening in regulation. It's something the market needed to help clean up the dishonest and bad actors. Now we're seeing the institutions stepping in and innovating at scale. We've all been hearing what the likes of Fidelity 6, NASDAQ, etc. are making public. This is just the start. There is so much more activity in progress that we all don't know about, which will be revealed this year. Wow. Gilbert Verdin, again, we're working on being the financial infrastructure to move digital assets between networks. There's a lot of activity in this space by banks. We're making Quant the way to sign, encrypt, and secure digital assets to move them between banks, making it a universal utility token. Can you imagine Quant moving JP Morgan coin to another bank or Facebook's Libra coin all of these need interoperability to transfer between parties. We're making that a reality. Now, if that doesn't get your juices flowing, I don't know what will. I am so excited about Quant and Quant's future. Whether that's in the next five years or longer, I am holding this. To me, this is a no-brainer. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just here to give you the news and point out some of these gems these golden nuggets and all you have to do is make your own decision never base your investments on what i'm telling you you've got to make your own decision but i know what i'm doing
Uh, my mate Cletus messaged me the other day saying what he's going to do with his quant. He's going to get himself a Dodge Ram pickup, 33 inch Mud King tyres and a Tracker Bass Boat with his winnings. <laughs> Have a listen to this. Well, I'll tell you one thing, it's real funny, the International Monetary Fund, they sure do want to protect their buddies, all them central bankers. They, they hate the idea of uh, any crypto getting a, a currency type status, don't they? Unless, of course, it's quant, because that's also their buddies from the central banks, ain't it? Seems like they want to be the only ones who can print money out of thin air. One thing I can really tell you about quant is that the time is definitely running out, because I think the crypto winter time is over. Things is warming up a little bit, and we're about to see stuff start to skyrocket. I have no doubt it is going to go somewhere soon, and when it starts to go, old FOMO going to kick in. And anybody who didn't already have both of their feet on the train is going to get left behind, dragged on the tracks. You say you hate them institutional finance companies and the CBDCs and all that. Well, welcome to the damn club. Who don't hate that stuff? I golly, I'm going to take it. I don't know about you. Because when them prices start going up and FOMO kicks in, everybody's going to be running around like chickens with their heads cut off. I got a bunch of cousins up there in Wolverton Mountain said they's going to wait until they get some more proof that it's going to do something before they buy. I tell you what, they're going to be FOMOing in like crazy. I'm gonna jump, dump. I'm gonna dump on all them by half my bag. Go ahead and buy me a brand new Dodge Ram pickup truck, lifted up about six inches, 33 inch Mud King tires, chrome wheels, big old sound system, bumping some country rap music. I'm gonna have me a matching Tracker bass boat, 225 horsepower, two-stroke outboard, the environment. I'm trying to rock and roll. It's going to freaking slang blue smoke all over the water. Catch every bass in sight before anybody else can even get there. Matching sound system, bumping that country rap music. Attract every largemouth bass within 10 miles. Might even get a fancy spiked collar for my American Pitbull Hezekiah. He'll be looking sharp as hell. All the bitches will want to get with him. So I don't know what y'all are planning on doing, but that's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, he's a legend absolute legend anyhow i hope you enjoyed that i hope you enjoyed the lesson that you might learn from this lovely guy called cletus anyhow i'll catch you later all the best remember this isn't financial advice always do your own research